Today we're looking at items that I spent almost nothing on that I sold for some good money. Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor. I have not done a what sold on eBay video in a little while, so I thought I would show you some of the items we sold just in the last week or so. I've picked some random items, just a small assortment from the store that we share with you. Let's hop over right now and show you some of them. So the first lot here is a lot of 9, 10 inch, 78 RPM records. I have a quarter into each of these. $2.25 invested into the items themselves. They did sell for $65 plus shipping via media mail. These came in a big lot of records. I sold a whole bunch of them individually from 25 to say 60 bucks a piece. The rest that I couldn't sell, I bunched together by performer Glenn Miller here and sold them out that way. Nice sale here, very happy with it. About a $50 profit, bunched together as a bulk lot of like-like artists. Now here are some 1880s, 90s paper dolls. These are from the Victorian era. These show up at a lot of estate sales around here in vintage auctions. They're all over the place because it's from a local company. If you follow me on my other channel, The Art Professor, we're going to be looking at in-depthly some Victorian paper dolls, including some handmade ones in a video that will be posted this week. So if you're not subscribing to The Art Professor, my other channel, I would recommend that too, because we're going to be going into some in-depth close-ups of some of these vintage items. This one did sell for $21 as well. Very good sale. I have maybe 50 cents or so into it. Now here's a postcard. This was up for about two days. It sold for $37.50 plus shipping on this. So very happy with that. I checked out other ones in the same range. So this was pretty high sale for this sort of card. So, nice item here. It's a real photo, real picture postcard. Now, here's an Irving Berlin sheet music. This one sold for $24.50. This was an offer to a watcher. So, next one's another real photo, real picture postcard. It's of a lady smoking a corn cob pipe. Rather interesting. This is like a country scene you would see. She's got pots and pans in the background behind her. She's obviously in the kitchen. This one went for 30 bucks. I have maybe a quarter into this. This was in one of those scrap bins at a sale somewhere. It didn't have any ID or any information on it, so most people don't think just some random image or random postcard like this would sell for very much money. This next one's a 50 cent poster. I bought over 100 posters from the same person for around 50 cents a piece. I've been selling them now for two years. I sell at least one or two every single month for 30, 34, 50, as you see, all the way up to 57, 50 on some of them. Excellent sale here. This one did go for 34, 50. Now this next one's a 48 cassette tape set of the Holy Bible. I've sold many of these, the DVD versions, the CD versions, the Blu-ray versions, all of those versions of the Holy Bible always sell. I put this up, I forget about it, and I don't mess with it. It did sell for $59.99. I have like a dollar into this thing from a sale. Some beat up on the boxes. The tapes are all there in excellent condition though. All of these books on tape that are of the Holy Bible will always sell. Now here's an NOS shirt from the 1960s or 70s. Now I paid four bucks for this at a thrift store. It's in a haul video actually that I have. I've sold four of these at the full price already. I still have some left. I've made a couple hundred bucks just off of these. I wouldn't have messed with these at all other than the fact that they were sealed still in the plastic and I don't have to worry about a single thing when I sell them. The sizes and everything are all listed there. They're visible in the image as is if they open it they can't return it as it was so you're pretty covered on something like this so very happy with this sale now this next one's an 8x10 photograph this is a real photo advertising from bell aircraft company so really interesting item we've sold over a thousand dollars just in the last four weeks of these sorts of photos just military related we also sell movie star, TV, and things like that related 8x10s also. We sell dozens of these every single month. This month was better than most. 
Now here's some sheet music. This is from Led Zeppelin. I put this up. I forgot about it. It's been up for about 18 months to two years. I sold it for 30 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. I don't mind letting stuff ride when I have so very little into the item. A dollar plus, say, $2 in listing. Sold it for 30 I still made well over $22 in profit on this item after all is said and done. More sheet music here. This was an offer to a watcher for $24.50, and they took it. Happy with that one as well. This is an original from the 20s. I have zero into this at this point. Now, this is the last of the Richard Scary items that I got at a thrift store haul. Again, this one's in a video as well. I took 10 bucks on it. I have literally nothing into it. We made almost $100 off of two purchases of Richard Scary lots. So, very happy with that one. Now, here's another one of those long tail items. I have a dollar into this. This is a Fred Harvey item. It's the only reason I even bought it. If it didn't say Fred Harvey, I wouldn't mess with it. It's still sealed. I sold it for 20 bucks. The fees on this are less than a dollar, plus the dollar into this. I still only have $2 basically in the listing this, plus my 10% final value fee. So I still made almost $16 in profit on this item. I'm fine with that. Now here is another cigarette box section. This isn't even the whole box. This is just the top layer. I sold it for one. 150. Now, if this was complete, I probably would have got the 450 out of it. It even has damage on the top. 150 bucks for this is, is excellent in my book. I just have a few dollars total into this. I bought it in a big bulk lot with some other stuff, all tobacco related from a state sale. Very happy, 150 bucks as I said. Now here's a poster stamp. This is fairly small. I think you can see the size in this one also. It's an inch by about two inches across. Excellent example of this sort of thing. I sold it for $12.50. Again, happy with that. This was bought with some oddball items at an estate sale, came out of the attic with some other paper items. Now this next one's a dollar item I got in a haul. It should be in one of my videos if I'm not mistaken. I took 30 bucks on it. I put it up, I forgot about it. The last one that I could find that sold, sold for 25. There was another one that sold in the same range also. So I'm fine with taking 30 on a dollar item. I've got almost nothing into it. Now here's a paint chip card. Now paint chips are literally the samples that you see. If you want to sell something like this, make sure the title says paint chips. That almost always helps these sell. Sample would be a good one, booklet, folder, and the name of the company that made the paint. I did sell this for $17.50. Very fine with that sale. I've got like a quarter into this. This is one of those junk piles from a sale somewhere. I've got this up for about a year and two months at five cents a month listing it. So I have 70 cents in the listing it. About a dollar total into this. Minus final value fees and PayPal fees, I am still making around $12 or $13 profit for this item. Now here's a magazine, paid a dollar, and it did sell for $14.50. These are the kind of things, again, that you'll have to put them up and leave them. Now these sorts of items I cross-list, it drastically increases my chances of selling these somewhere. So I don't care what site anything sells on these days. As long as it sells, I'm happy. You got to weigh your options when you're doing these sorts of things. You got to know which items sell better across multi sites versus ones that should only be listed on one specific site. Now, here is a vintage 1981 Zima brand die cast Honda motorcycle. This is an import from Hong Kong. This one sold for 45 bucks. Now, I've turned down three offers on this that were less than 20 bucks each, and I just put it up and forgot about it. I'm not worried if something sits for a while. I have a quarter into this. This is one of those little baskets you see by a counter for quarter vehicles. I know enough that this one will always sell. Zima is a hard brand to find. The Hong Kong originals sell very, very well. So 45 bucks, the buyer of this was extremely happy. Now this next one is a feature matchbook. And I've talked about matches many times. Feature matches means that there's something written, drawn, or an image across the matches themselves. You can see these are extra large ones. These are jumbo for advertising purposes. You can see fingers in the image just to give you an idea on how large these are. This can only be shipped ground. I wrote ground all over the place. I selected a ground option only and shipped them that way, even though shipping 
for something like this does run around seven dollars or so so just keep that in mind you cannot ship matches first class parcel or anything else they can only go parcel ground or ups ground on these but i did take 1850 on this so i am perfectly happy with that i have 50 cents or a quarter into this as well Next one's a postcard. This was one of those I put it up and I forgot about it. I have a quarter, 50 cents or less into this. This came in a bulk purchase. Now this is a chrome probably from the 50s or 60s and it did sell for $34.50. This sold because of where it's from, Antarctica. And this is Anvers Island. There is a research station on there. This was sold to somebody who was actually at this research station at some point in their career. Rather interesting piece in my book. And this last one is an 8x10 CBS TV promotional photo. Just like I said, we sell a ton of different kinds of photos. This one did sell for $34.50. I've got nothing into this. We sold thousands of dollars from this purchase from these photos. I've been making a profit on these for probably almost two and a half years from this very same purchase. We bought thousands of photos of this sort. If you're on my Patreon page, you've seen some of the massive quantities of photos that I get. We got 2,000 plus movie-related photos just in the last few weeks alone. So these are excellent areas to sell stuff in. Entertainment collectibles, military photo collectibles, all sell for some phenomenal money. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. and down and up and down on the inchworm from Romper Room.